Hello everyone, it is me Cricket Downpour and today we're playing a game called The Raven. This game looks like a very promising game. Plus it's by my OG game creator, the one who made The Moon is Fading Away. That game that is still in development and I cannot wait for, for the life of me, I really want that game to come out. But as of right now, we're playing The Raven. And I already know it's going to be good. I already know it's going to be good. Uh, okay. Uh, Inferium, a man burdened by grief after the loss of his beloved Lenore, drowns his sorrows in alcohol as an escape. But one day, while pursuing using a mysterious book of forgotten science he is interrupted by the visit of a majestic raven I don't know what this game is about I just um I, I couldn't I couldn't read what it was about because it was in a different language so that's pretty awkward but no worries November 1845 no 54 1854 how did i get 40 in the stillness of the night lies my afflicted heart for i have lost my beloved my sweet lenore in her tomb rests her motionless and cold beauty and my soul is left alone in the deepest agony how to move forward without her warm embrace how to find light amidst this twilight's trace for her smile and her love were my sole reason to be and now her absence makes me long to fade and flee yet i shall carry on though my heart tears apart with uh, okay, oh, calm down. Seeking solace in the memories of our loves remain. For though my beloved has gone far away, her love shall live forever in my shattered heart's array. Let death not be the end of our true love's accord, but the beginning of an entirety together in a sin sincere okay well here on earth darkness wells me within calm down man your light shall keep shining in my soul like a crimson blade and as i await the moment to be with you in eternal space your memory shall stay alive in my heart my divine grace calm down william shakespeare <laughs> i'm sorry <laughs> Oh my, that was going so fast. And those were words that I was not prepared to like read. I was not prepared to read all of those words. But uh, regardless of that, I'm sure this game is going to be amazing. Because the moon has faded away is a freaking amazing game. I just really want it to be finished. December 1840. Five, no, 54. Oh my God, I need my glasses. Is this real? I cannot escape this pain. Time has halted. How can I carry on? Oh, why can't I remember everything clearly? Why do I only have these blurry and fragmented images of Lenore? Where are you, my love? Come back. I beseech. Oh dear. How can I move forward without you? How can I find purpose to life after losing you? Lenore! <laughs> oh, nice ring. Hmm, had you a delicious drink, I see. That wine, quite scrumptious. Oh, what is this doohickey I'm going to read? Christianity embraces an unwavering faith where philosophers like Astrodel and the uh, Pira. Uh, oh God, I don't, I don't know how to read cursive, guys. Uh, para pat, parapatics strive to uphold conflicting opinions about the nature of things however i cannot endorse any of those theories about demons put forth by plato plato what poor f poor uh, ah, poor furry uh platonius 
uh, Jamblicius and others who, though they have written extensively about demons, have created more fantasies than realities. Therefore, I cannot subscribe to their views. <laughs> subscribe, guys. <laughs> he said it, not me. I'm just kidding. Even though they have been supported by... <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't, I can't believe I just said that. <laughs> well, he did say subscribe, so... Supported by learned men. As a result, I worship the almighty God, the architect of the universe, who before creating this admirable... Admirably adored world with the orders of wanderous spirits had created these incorporeal beings as testified by the divine messages sent to us through masses for a long time. Oh my god, more reading. In the deep of the night, when shadows lengthen and fears lurk, this story comes to life. I firmly believe in the accounts told by those who speak spoke with God through the words of ancient sacred text. It was a time of benevolent beings who, from the heights of goodness, ruled over all that existed. They were intelligent beings, though without physical form, in tune with the divine nature, limited yet confirmed to it. God created and cared for them so that they, in turn, would worship and adore him. He bestowed upon them outstanding intelligence, magnificent consciousness, and eternal knowledge. Their souls shone like rays of divine light, amanting from the true source of eternal faith. Wow, that is deep. And I love it. I love every second of it. Reminds me of very old titles. What does all this mean? I fail to comprehend this. It's strange and haunting pages. So uncertainty within me. Drinking wine does little to soothe the growing un unease. Time passes and my interest in the book gradually wanes. Despite that, I... Hello? A loud knocking at my door startles me, making the book fall from my hands. I try to silence the insensate pounding of my heart to no avail. Who could it be at this hour of the night? Oh, well, uh, that's a good question. Who could it be? And why is he knocking on my door like such a delinquent? You will pay. Knocking on my door like that? Is it Jack Z. Ripper? Could it actually be? Pardon, fair lady, or noble sir, I beseech your pardon for the day. I must confess slumber overcame me, and I did not perceive your knocks at my door. Oh. Die, die, die. Hesitant, I opened the door, only to find a dark and cold hallway. Lenore, I mumbled, and the echo returned it in a chilling whisper. Is this a dream or an endless nightmare? Good question, man. I don't I don't know what it is, but uh, all I know is this game has a lot of reading <laughs> and I love it. Actually, I feel like I'm learning something. All these words beseech uh, Lenore. What? Uh, what is that? What, what was that? Could have been just the wind. No, it can't be the wind. That thought was too clear. Someone has knocked on my window. Really? Or, or maybe it was the uh, the tree branch that knocked on your window. Ever think of that? There, there's some, what is that thing? Oh God, I don't really want to know, but I'm still curious too. Oh, just uh, dine around in my fine establishment. Make yourself at home in my humble aquarium. I contemplated the unfathomable blackness for a long while. The wind held fiercely, and I could also perceive the first drops of rain falling. Only the wind and nothing more, I thought, still doubtful of my own sanity. With reluctance, I closed the window and decided to return to my chair, so that I may gaze upon the warm embrace of the fire. Oh god, okay. Yeah, oh, jeez, that was uh, very abrupt. Oh, a feather of some kind. 
I'm gonna assume it's a raven's feather without a trace of reverence an ominous bird of yours burst of, of your burst into the, the your what what is that word it perched upon the burst the bust of Pel I regain the composer <laughs> and in my role as a host up here even with your crest <laughs> maimed and severe art though not a coward Oh, a raven of horrifying aspect that wanders from Knight's Plutonium. Tell me, what is thy lordly name for the Knight's Plutonium shore? Quote the raven, nevermore. Oh, it's a, oh, it's an house. I was perplexed by the unheard of eloquence of this ominous, of this ominous bird of your However, its vague, its vague and irrelevant response left me somewhat indifferent. Has any living being had the privilege to witness such an act? Oh goodness, bird or beast, perched upon the scalped, scalped bust of Pallas with such disquinting wet, nevermore. Goodness, these words are killing me, man. I'm not smart. I observed the bird for a while, barely whispering. I uttered the following words. Other friends have forsaken me before. Tomorrow he shall leave me, just as my hopes have done. Most of this, I'm not even getting to read it. Quoth the raven, nevermore. Surely what it says is all it knows. A single repertory of words learned from some wretched whom, is, whom it must have harassed relentlessly until its dirgings bore only one meaning, until the chance of his hope carried that mellow, uh, uh, never, never more, uh, more like never mind, because uh, that's a lot of reading. However, the presence of this ebony bird drew a smile upon my face. <laughs> Did God grant me this moment to forget, even if briefly, the absence of my beloved? Oh, thank you, Father. Whatever the reason may be, I must displace my chair for a better view of the raven. By the way, uh, don't take that out of context, people, please. Don't take that out of context, because I know you freakies will. You freaks will do that, won't you? Okay, so you want me to move my chair? Okay, so before I do that, I kind of want to look around. This looks super great. It, it is incredible what uh, Bluebird Games can do. I mean, I, I definitely expected it to be good, but this good? Wow. It is, it is telling me like a 18th century story, and I love it. It kind of reminds me of... Uh, the game called Amnesia, the uh, Dark Descent. And man, I played that game a long time ago, but I have never recorded it. I finished the game, but that, that all happened when I was like really young. I wasn't even an adult at that time, so that was kind of uh, awkward. Perched upon the bust of Pallas, the bird whose eyes seemed like burning embers peered into the depths of something. Weavering one fantasy after another, I found myself sketching the raven on the pages of my diary. In that moment, the atmosphere seemed to grow denser, infused with an invisible insist as the steps of Cerferius rerouted the carpet floor. I don't know what's going on. Wretch, your god has granted you respite through these angels. A respite of near pith for your memories of Lenore. Haston, oh Haston, this sweet near pith, and forgot your, uh, uh okay, <laughs> the raven. <laughs> okay, these words are way too old. Prophet, thing of evil, whenever bird or devil sent by the tempter, whether or cast upon this haunted refuge by the storm. Okay. Prophet, tell me, I beseech you, is there a balm in a wet? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Too much is happening right now when it comes to the reading aspect. Prophet, thing of evil, whether bird or devil, by that fear I meant stretching above our heads. By that god we both adore. Oh, oh, are you being loud? 
tell this sorrow-laden soul, if in the distant Eden this weary soul shall find its beloved, if this weary soul shall find its beloved, who, whom angels called Lenore, quoth the raven, quoth the raven, nevermore, and be that word our sign of pain, of parting, bird or friend, fly back into the tempest, to the night's platonium soar. Plotanian shore. Leave me, leave no black plum as a token of lie of the lies of your spirit. Leave my loneliness unbroken, quite the bust ab above my door. <laughs> what the hell is he talking about? Take thou back, take thou back from my heart and take thou from our. F Quote the raven evermore. <laughs> I, I can't even breathe with all the sex. Oh. Are you okay, man? You're being very dramatic, falling on the floor like that. And the raven nevermore fleet, fleeting still is sitting, still is sitting on the pallet bust of Pallas, on the door frame of my room. I am bald, by the way. Its eyes have the appearance of a meditating demon. Yes, a meditating demon. Its shadow stretches across the captured, the carpeted floor, and my soul. Deep within that shadow remains, in present, unable to break free. Yes, never more. <laughs> He's so cute. Look at him. Such a cute bird. Hey. Oh, whoa. Okay. Those sounds aren't very cute. <laughs> what happened? Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> It's the end. No. Oh no. I wanted to see more of that. Created by Nicolas Olivares. I think that's how you pronounce that. Oh my god. That game was really amazing. Based on The Raven by Edgar Alien Poe. Wow. Is this oh this is based off is this based off like a real book or something or a story? Music by Scott Buckley. Wow, uh, the Fishland Studios, I think. Man, I gotta say, Bluebird, you have done it again. This is an incredible experience, and I, I am actually not surprised. This game looks great, and man, it was great. It is just amazing. I cannot believe there are still game developers that have this type of style in game development, and it just brings my heart such joy to like see stuff like this i really hope we can see more of this because it is so beautiful and unique i mean what what is old should not be forgotten and i feel like that's kind of kind of what the developer is doing right here with this game and man i love it i love every second of it guys so please support this game and uh what if you enjoyed it go play it yourself and um i will see you all in the next video Thank you so much for watching The Raven. Yes, The Raven. And goodbye, everybody. And stay safe tonight, or else you might lose your beloved. <laughs>